yeah, 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 yeah. Loss at Heinz Field don't mean nothing. It's kind of what was supposed to happen. I wanted to say that the Browns came out and they gave it they all, and they did, and they didn't look literally like a mirror match of Week One with different tricks. Like Pittsburgh was like, "I see your tricks, Baltimore, and I raise you more tricks. We're gonna get a pick six on the first pass." It's all ugly. We're not even gonna just completely blame Baker Mayfield either. Oh wow, I went from great to good. Seven days went from great to good. Hopefully, we can go from good to great in another week against Cincy. Hopefully, we can get it right back. It's real sad to see what happened to Baker out there. Never like to see somebody really go out there, injure him, go out, but you could tell very early on he was affected. I saw that first little pass he threw to the tight end, dude was like six yards in front of him, and he like threw a little baby duck. So I could tell he was super injured. They shouldn't have let him play this game. You know, a dude ain't gonna never just not go to work, give up, give up his job. So, hey, hopefully, uh, cause Case Keenum did not impress when he got in. That, that little time he got in, he didn't do. Yeah. Yeah. What it came down to was coach. Mike Tomlin showed why the Pittsburgh Steelers mess up and end up in or around the Super Bowl every year. Like, they just flat out they say, you're not going to beat us in the run. So they just load the box up and just blitz. Bunch of man blitzes. So you're not going to run the ball. You're going to have to throw. And then no answers. So I don't know what Case going to do, but that's what it came down to was coaching. You got him. You got him, Mike Tomlin got him. Again. Probably for like the eighth, tenth time in a row. I know Bill Cowher had some of them dubs, but Mike Tomlin had most of them. I expect a stronger performance this week, though. We got Cincinnati. We are a better team, I guess, depending on the quarterback position. So we'll see what Case Keenum can do. Hopefully Baker can heal up. We're going to need him back later because I'm hearing that Case Keenum can't really throw the rock like Baker can. Like, you know, sling it, sling it. So I'm hoping that. He execute, man. Sometimes you ain't got to sling and sling it when you're putting it where it need to go. So I'm still optimistic. We four and two, great first quarter and a half of the season. It's in the air. Now it's on the flow. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Browns dog pound stand up. Hey, we still out here. Lastly, that loss would have been way, way, way worse if it was a lot of fans in the crowd. Like fans make the blowout bad. So. But football is one of them sports, like, any given Sunday, Saturday, Friday, when people playing, it don't got to be a lot of people in the crowd. Like, business got to get done. And you still feel satisfied with nobody in the crowd getting a dub. Like, even in a scrimmage, like, you feel good about that more than, like, just the crowd being there. So, Browns went out there and got smacked at, like, a private invitational up at Heinz Field. It was an exclusive only quarantine Browns dub. They got so many of them up there, but... We're going to bounce back, man. I got faith in my Browns. 4-2 and two going in. I'm looking at the schedule. A lot of winnable games. I'm not going to say easy does. A lot of winnable games. I'm going to be surprised if three of the teams out there in FC North, I mean the AFC North, make it into the playoffs. Because Pittsburgh, Baltimore, and the Browns are still making noise. So, only people beating us is us. The Ravens and Pittsburgh always end up in and around the Super Bowl. So, y'all can say what y'all want, man. We never had the toughest division for a while. Some people skate to Super Bowls. They win them, but they skate to them. It's on, man. Hit the like, all that, share, subscribe. We appreciate all the support. It's a lot of little energy, but it's all good. It's all worth it. Uh, I'm going to do questions on the next video because I'm getting questions about the Browns. And I said I was going to address them, so I'm going to start addressing them. Because now it's like over a couple dozen, so I can like pick from a few. So uh, thanks for all the support. Keep reaching out. I love talking Browns, so you can hit me up. I'll talk to that Browns. Going to the Super Bowl.